What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, I just wanted to turn this email into an actual video. I wanted to turn it, turn it into a piece of valuable content for you guys because I think this stuff's important. Um, so rather than me just sitting here and analyzing this and replying to the email all by myself, I wanted to bring you guys with me. All right, so um, receive this, this email. This is a client of mine, right, Luann, fired up super fired up, has been in the industry, has been perfecting her craft for literally the past 30 plus years, 35 years she's been in, in her industry, serving her community, um, doing deals, building a business, um, real estate, and, 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 and has been so successful offline, right? But on social media, obviously, you know, she's not quite there yet. And so she is just that type of person also that type of client that actually wants to learn like she you have some clients or you have, i have some clients that just say hey david here's a budget go have fun go crush it as long as you're bringing in leads that's all that matters right i have some clients that just leave me alone um and that's cool um and then i have some clients that are super 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 involved where they literally want to know everything you know how like in your guys's like let's say for example you're a real estate agent or let's say you're a, you're you're a, you're in the mortgage industry like you're a loan originator or even if you're an insurance agent because I used to be a, a loan originator I was a lender I was in the mortgage industry and 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 I would have those clients that literally when we go to close and 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 we're ready to sign closing docs I had some of those clients where they wanted to know everything. They wanted to know what every single page in that 90 page closing docs, they wanted to know what every single page meant. They wanted to know what every paragraph meant. And it's like, okay, you have those clients and you're happy to serve them, right? You're happy to, 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 to answer any question a customer has. But at the same time, that's, that's hardcore. You guys know what I mean. Like you realtors out there, you have those clients, right? Where they want to know everything, everything. And then, and then you have those clients that just say, Hey man, go do what you do. I'm going to continue to do what I do and we'll make a perfect match. And, and, and again, you have some of those clients, but then you have, you have the ones that look like Luann that just say, Hey man, I need to know everything. Like I need to know every metric. And I say, Luann, no, you don't like you go close escrows. Like you go close deals and let me, let me worry about all the metrics. Let me worry about this. Right. At the end of the day, leads are coming in and that's all that matters. Right. So, but, but, but again, shout out to Luann because this email that I received 33 minutes ago turned into a YouTube video, turned into a vi video that I shot, that I shared with you guys. And, and hopefully it makes sense. Cause I want to break it down. I want to break it down for Luann and I want to break it down for you guys. Like what, what, what the expectations, what the objectives what your overall strategy needs to be. Okay, that's the whole purpose of this video because I truly believe a lot of people still have it wrong um, when it comes to Facebook advertising. So this is where we're at, okay? This is a video, let's go back to the, to the ad real quick. Let me refresh this. This is a video ad that we're rolling out. This is week one of four, okay? First week, we blitz we run out of video we, we run a, a facebook video view ad and we literally get thousands of people in a very specific location we're talking about local business owners okay local business owners um we're targeting a very specific location right so the first video the first ad the strategy is in week number one, you're blitzing a video to get thousands of people to view it to build a custom audience, okay? Once you build a custom audience, then you can tell Facebook, hey, these are, these are all thousands of people that you told me that watched my video. Now, what I want to do is I want to run Facebook ad number two, which will be week number two, and I want to retarget everyone who watched video number one. That's powerful, especially when you can you can actually spend some money. Luann is actually spending some money. She's at a she's at about a monthly budget of about two to three grand per month, um, and we'll be scaling up. That's where that's where she's starting. That's where we're starting, right? I am starting with Luann at a, at a few thousand per month, um, and she's all in, right? She's all in. She's all David. I've been closing deals for thirty five years. I don't know a darn thing about social media, but I want to learn, and I want to learn Facebook ads. And I need you to take me by the hand. And I got the budget. Let's go spend it. And 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 so it's one of those clients, right? And so I want 
you guys to know exactly how this all works and, and the strategy behind it. She's, she's delighted, right? The ad, this first ad, it's ran. We, I started it for her yesterday, right? It's the 23rd. We're running it until the 29th. So it's a seven day ad. It's a seven day ad and we are spending some money. Um, the daily budget on this is literally over 80 bucks. It's like $84 a day. Okay. So $84 a day. And she just wants to get, she wants to blast it and, and literally get thousands of people to view that video. And so if we go to the, let, in fact, let's take a look at the video. Let's go to, let's see where we're at right now. It, it's been, it's been, it hasn't even been 24 hours. Actually, I started it last night at 6 p.m. So it hasn't even been 24 hours, okay? It has not even been 20, been 24 hours. And let's go to her page and see where the views are at. Because the whole email, I'm delighted with the metrics this morning. 10 total for link clicks. Are these 10 clicking on the landing page? And if so, if they filled out the landing page, I have not received anything. Right. So what is so what is happening with with those that clicked? OK, so she's asking a very, very legitimate question. Right. But again, I keep trying to educate her on this and, and, and some learn faster than others. Right. So. Our whole strategy is to run video views. That's what we're doing with this one. This is a video views ad. So when you come in and you click the green button, this is under video views. OK. Now, keep in mind, if you're in housing or if you're in credit or if you're in employment, always make sure you check the, the correct one here, okay? If you're in housing, make sure you go there. You're a realtor, mortgage person, make sure you click on that. So this is where we're at right now. This is week one of four. We're under video views, okay? Whole objective is to find our audience. The, it's, a huge, it, it's a huge market. It's a huge population. We're targeting a specific area in California where she's farming, right, doing deals, um, and, 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 but yet there's still a ton of people. There's still a ton of people, right? So our whole objective is to run video views, to find the few people that actually watch the video. And then we turn that into a custom audience. And then when, again, when we go run the next ad, we can target that audience. And when we go and target that audience, we'll be targeting under conversions because then we're looking for clicks then we're telling Facebook, hey, I'm looking for leads. Make sure that people convert. I'm running this ad. I'm running this video. I'm doing it under conversions. I'm retargeting all the video views. I'm even targeting more people. I'm running it consistently. I'm building a huge audience in my backyard. Now I'm looking to capture leads, 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 leads. That's all I want is leads, leads, leads. That's conversions. Okay, but I'm just saying, I'm just giving you a strategy on how you're going to get there. You're going to run video views first to build your audience. Just because you have 500,000 people, when you, when you go to run an ad and, and you put in your location, you put in your city, you put in the demographics, and then all of a sudden you have a, a potential reach of 500,000 that all live in your local area or 600,000 or whatever it may be. Just because that's a potential reach, you're nowhere near going to reach that because of your budget, number one, and, and, and because not everyone's going to watch your stuff. So the whole purpose of video views is to find those people who actually watch your stuff and then eventually start to build a warm market, turn the cold market into a warm market. And the way you get it in, the way you turn the, the warm market into a hot market is when you keep running ads to them every single week, retargeting. Okay. And, and, and you're retargeting under conversions because your only objective at that point is to capture leads. We got to find the audience first. We got to tell Facebook, Hey man, find the audience first. I'm willing to spend, find my audience, find people that are going to at least watch my stuff, at least, at least engage in my stuff. That's a start. Because if I can get them to at least start watching my stuff and engaging and I can track that, then those are, those are, those are people that, are, that, are, that, 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 that I can run another ad to. And, and, and the second time, the third time, the fourth time, by that time, people become familiar with your brand. They, they become familiar with your name. They're like, damn, I saw that person again before. I saw them in my newsfeed. I swear, man, when you're a local business owner and you're targeting a local area, it's very different than splatting stuff on social media and just posting your listing on every platform. 
that's very different because all those people live all everywhere. All those people live across the country. But when you're targeting a specific location, a location where you actually do business, where you actually live in for many of you, right? You start running videos, man. It's a mini commercial. So before you know it, after a few videos, people start to know you. Like you'll literally be going to the grocery store and people will recognize you. It's that crazy. It's that amazingly crazy. It's a good thing, right? You're looking to build a personal brand. You're looking to take over your local area. And this applies to every business owner, not just a realtor or a loan you know, person. Like this applies to any local business owner. You need to be thinking video. You need to be thinking retargeting the people who are watching your videos with conversion ads. You need to be thinking capturing leads in your backyard and there ain't nothing to it. So this one right now, this is under video views, okay? This crazy, crazy ad that we got going on right now at such a, a, an enormous daily budget. It's this one right over here. So let's click on the business page. And it's going to be this one pinned at the top. Let's see this. Okay, this one right here. So look, let's click on it. And it hasn't even been 24 hours. This is the difference between, between running an ad and just splatting stuff against the wall, you guys, which is what the majority of you guys are doing. You guys are posting on social media, thinking it's doing something for your business when it ain't doing squat. Okay, you need to target your local area. That's where your business is at. This is 2.3 thousand views in under 24 hours that are all coming from her local backyard. Now, this is a very generic video which I did not recommend running at all. But again, Luann is one of those special clients, right? That knows what she wants, has the money to back it up. And when they have the budget, you try not to get in their way. She just knows what she wants. She knows what she's at, she wants. And, and again, she wants me to kind of hold her hand. So as I make this video, it's kind of educating her as well on, on, on really answering her question um, on, on the difference and really what the real strategy is here. So this right here, you guys, hasn't even been 24 hours. We're going to be running this for seven days at a crazy, crazy daily budget. Again, that, that daily budget that is at $84 a day, which you guys don't have to start at, out at all, like at all at all. Like what I would recommend starting out at, at at least, at least, at least, man, at least minimum 10 bucks a day. For those of you that are closing deals, okay, you got to look at how much you make per deal. All right, let's get, let's get real here. You got let's put things in perspective. This is simple, simple math. What do you make per deal? What is the net, right? What do you come home with? What does that paycheck say? What is the net that you make per deal? And just do the math, right? Like I talk to real estate agents all the time, and I'm like, dude, you make seven grand per deal. You make five grand per deal. You make 10 grand per deal and you're scared to spend 500 bucks a month on advertising. Are you freaking kidding me? And then a lot of the times for all these local business owners, what could you do offline that's, that, that's anywhere comparable or even matches the cost of what you can do for 500 bucks a month, let's say on Facebook, for example, like there's no comparison. Like there's absolutely no comparison. You cannot get much done offline in terms of marketing your actual business. There's not, not much you can do offline nowadays at, at, at a low price point at all. Like, what are you going to do to get your message? You know, like, again, I talk to realtors a lot. So I'm like, dude, what are you going to do? Door knock? Like, what are you going to do? Print up freaking 3,000 flyers and have your 10-year-old son pass them out on the weekends? Like, what are you going to do? Like, cold call? Like, what are you going to do? Put your face on a billboard? Nope, you ain't got the budget. What are you going to do? Put your face on every bus bench? Nope, you ain't got the budget. What are you going to do? Run radio ads to your local community? Nope, you ain't got the budget. What are you going to do? Run TV commercial? Come on, dude. Like, let's get real. In 2020, the cost is still low for social media marketing. That's how you have to approach this. You have to be thinking, dude, 2020, I need to be running Facebook ads. I need to be running Instagram ads. I need to be running YouTube ads directly to my local backyard. That's how you guys need to be thinking right now. That's how you guys need to be thinking right now. You need to be thinking, let me build an audience of people that are right next door to me 
And let me focus on this local area. And if I have to put some skin in the game, if I have to put a few bucks up, so be it. I make a, I make 10 grand per deal. I could put a thousand a month into this, right? That's how you need to be thinking, man. You need to be thinking, and it doesn't take much, you know, start at 10 bucks a day, start at something like that, but, but look at it, but don't just map it out by the day. Don't just say, Hey, okay, I'm gonna run an ad for four days and see what happens. No, dude, that's the wrong approach. And 99% of people that I speak to business owners that I speak to, that's how they're thinking. And, and that's, that's their experience on running an ad. I ask him, Hey, John, have you run an ad before? Stacy, have you, have you been running Facebook ads before? Oh yeah, I've been run, I ran it before. Yeah, for sure. I ran one for two days and you know, $5 a day. And, and then, you know, last month I ran one and, and, and it was, I, I did $10 a day for, for five days. I'm like, dude, so inconsistent. Your budget is freaking pennies. No wonder you ain't seen no ROI. You know what I mean? And, and on top of it all, you don't even know how to run them. So I see it time and time again, you guys. And, and again, you're either going to learn this stuff like Luann. Luann, she's emailing me every five minutes. She literally wants me to hold her hand and walk her through every single freaking refresh. Every time I, every time I refresh the page, she wants to know, you know what just happened. You know, and, and she'll call me out on it, right? And so, again, you got some clients like that that, that really want to be involved, and that's cool. Um, and, 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 and then you got some clients again that just say, Hey dude, here's a few, here's, here, here, here's some money, go have fun and, and do what I need you to do, which is capture leads. Okay. So let's, let's answer this email, man. Um, she's confused with the ad, right? She's confused with, 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 with what the strategy is here. The whole strategy is to run this. This was her budget. This is what she said, David, throw it at it. I got, a, I got a few grand per month that I absolutely have to spend. That's what she told me. So we're going out crazy, right? Look at this. We're at, this is our weekly budget. 591 for the week is what we're going to spend on getting tens of thousands of people to view this ad. Okay. And then what we're going to do, and, th and so this is a video view ad. So that's what I wanted to explain. That, that's the whole purpose of this video is really walking you through the differences here. If your whole objective is to capture leads, you have an ad you're taking it to a landing page and your whole objective is to capture a lead, but you're running an engagement ad or you're running a reach ad or you're running a video view ad because it's a video. So you think that it would be video views that you would run under, right? Cause you got a video. So you think it's video views and you run it under video views and you wonder why no one's clicking and you wonder why no one's captured why no one's opting in and you're not capturing leads, right? This is why I made this. This is why I'm making this video. So you guys can understand this part. Video views is exactly what it means. Video views, period. That's what it means. It doesn't say click. It doesn't say traffic. It doesn't say engagement. It doesn't say lead. It doesn't say conversion. It doesn't say any of that. It says video view. So that's exactly what you're doing is you're, 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 you're telling Facebook, here's a budget to get thousands of people to view this video. Now, what the amazing thing is, what the, what the secret sauce is, what the freaking magic in it all is, is the fact that through custom audiences, Facebook allows us to, to create an, a group, create an audience of the people who actually viewed it. And then allows us to turn around and continue to focus on, on, on running ads directly to that specific group, right? And this is what creates brand recognition. This is why before you know it, it's a mini commercial and you'll go out to the grocery store and people will start recognizing you because it's, it's that powerful when you're personal branding yourself, when it's you on video. That's what I always try to tell my clients. I don't take on everyone because not everyone is willing to put themselves on camera. And that's the fact. So you have to be, you have to be willing to put yourself out there. If you, if you want to take the number one spot, right. And if you don't, if you're happy with, you know, spot number nine, 10 or 11, then do what you do. But if you're not, you got you to start putting it out there. You got to start understanding these objectives. So here's, here's the moral of the, of, the, of the video. We're under video views right now, Luann. So with video views, we're not looking for clicks. With video views, we're not expecting leads, okay? We're not expecting them to, to fill out the landing page, okay? So don't be looking for leads right now, Luann, because that's not what is coming in right now. Okay. The clicks. Yeah. Now will people click? Yeah. 
Well, it, it, because, also because it's on the page. So it's actually on the page, right? We uploaded it to the business page first, and then we ran the ad. So it's, it's out on the page organically. It's out for anyone to see so people can click on it from there as well, right? But that's not what we're looking for in this objective. With this first seven-day run, I don't care about the clicks. I don't care about the landing page. No one's going to be filling it out. It's not for that. The number one reason, again, is to build our custom audience so we can tell Facebook, hey, man, this is a warm market. These are people who actually watched my stuff. Let me continue to stay in front of them. And, and that's where the whole brand recognition comes into, 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 into play is that people, you know the audience. You know who's viewing your stuff. Now, you don't know them by name, right? It's not a lead. Like, Facebook's not giving you their freaking address. Facebook's just grouping it for you. They're, it's a custom audience. Um, they're just grouping up a bunch of data. They're grouping up all this data for you and saying, hey, man, based on what happened, they, based on our tracking, these people watched your stuff. They watched, they watched your video for 10%. They watched your video for 50%. They watched 95% of your video, this group right here. And then boom, you guys, I'm telling you, that's how you, when you create value and you stay on topic and you continue to, to, to dominate your space with education and you're doing it via, via, via video and you're, and you're throwing it out via Facebook ad, Instagram ad. Okay. This is when you dominate. This is how you dominate. Okay. This is how you dominate. You go under video views first. So, so again, seven day run video views. We're going to create a custom audience of everyone who's there everyone who views it and then we turn around and it's conversions when we'll start looking at clicks and we'll start looking at leads bottom line you guys so you want to run a video view ad first you want to run video views all the time to tell you the truth you want to be running at least at least at least one video per week you definitely want to be doing that if you're a local business owner you need to be running at least one Facebook video ad per week. Um, so you can always use that data. So you can always use that retargeting ability. And, and, and you always want to be creating custom audiences around those viewers. And you always want to just build that database, build it, build it, build it, build it, build it. It's like building a list. Um, Facebook is building an audience for you. And, and, and this is your audience. This is your nucleus. These are the people that are engaging in your stuff and they happen to live a mile away from you, right? Um, they're familiar with your brand. They're familiar with your name. You keep showing them content. They know who you are. And, and so depend on your offer, depend on if you're, if you're a realtor, start giving out a free seller guide, start talking about in your video at the end, the call to action. Hey guys, and don't forget to click learn more to download your 2020 buyer's guide on the top five ways to make sure you, you get the best possible deal in an, in a, in a mortgage this year, click below download now. Put it in your call to action, a seller guide. Hey guys, and don't forget to download my free seven tips on selling your property in 2020. Like don't, like that, that's so simple, you guys. You own a restaurant, okay, give a coupon. Hey guys, and don't forget to click learn more to download your free 15% off your next order. Like dude, this stuff is basic. Like this stuff is so simple. And, and most, I'm here to tell you, are still not even fully taking advantage of it. You got to hop on 2020. You got to hop on. You got to start running these ads, right? And you got to come in, come in ready to play, man. Now, again, let me end it here. Not everyone has to start at that crazy budget. Start at a few, start at 10, 15, 20 bucks per day, but, but look at it and budget it for the month. Don't just turn it on for a few days and shut it off. Right? Look at your campaign monthly, right? Look at it monthly. How much can I spend per week? Which is, which is really per month. Right. And, 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 what topic am I going to talk about? If you're a realtor, talk about selling and go on a blitz over the next four weeks and talk about selling the benefits, the advantages, the disadvantages, the difference between hiring a real estate agent versus trying to, you know, sell your home. Actually, that's for buyers, but the, what, what it takes to increase the value of your property before you decide to sell it what it takes to increase the what the what it takes to increase the curb appeal before you sell your property there's so many different things that you could talk about man and and give value to an individual who is looking to do something something that your business provides there's so much value that you can you can literally pull out your phone and go on rants for like 3 to 4 minute rants 
educating people, educating people. And when you can keep bringing value like this to your local area, man, you become the authority, you become the, 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 the recognized brand. And before you know it, man, you become the top producer. You become the business that is booming in that local area and the entire community knows who the heck you are. You become the mayor and there is nothing else to it. So to answer Luann, man, this right here is not something you need to worry about. It's not something you need to worry about at all in the first launch or, or, or really in any launch of a video view ad. You're only running video views to get that brand recognized, to get your face, to get you out there, to get your message out there, to find your audience and to build the custom audience, which is to build the custom audience. So that's video views. It's, it's brand recognition and, and, and to build that custom audience that you can that you can run conversion ads to, to capture the lead, okay? So again, conversions, leads, and clicks, and that's really all there is to it, man. That's all there is to it. But when you're under conversions, you gotta have a landing page, so make sure that you're driving that traffic to a landing page. Don't run conversions and try to take them to a website. There has to be a lead form. Conversions is for conversions for lead capture. Bottom line, lead capture, lead capture, lead capture. That's going to be for, for, conversion, for conversion ads. But um, if you don't have a landing page, there's a, there's a link in the description. Profit or there's a button below. Profit with Kartra.online or you can click the button below. Um, but there's a 14-day trial. Set up the 14-day trial. I can help you with it all. I'll help you get off to a fast start. Um, but I use, I use that software for my landing pages, for my email automation, and for my calendar. A lot of, lot of different things, but mainly what you would really, really need it for is if you plan on running Facebook ads or any type of paid traffic. And um, if you plan on building an email list, because as you start to capture leads, these people need to go on an email list. Bottom line, a lot of people try to run, try to run lead generation ads. They'll run lead generation ads and they'll use the, the landing page that Facebook provides. The only reason why I don't really do too many of those is because I still have to download that lead and I have to upload it into some kind of CRM. So there's just more, more steps than I want um, involved. And so that's why I'll run conversions straight to a landing page. So I need the landing page, that's number one. And then once they enter their name and email into that landing page, I need to put that name and email somewhere. And that's an email autoresponder. So that email autoresponder sends out emails, you know, based on, on when you want to send them out, but it sends out emails to nurture that list, to stay in touch with that list, to get that list to schedule appointments with you. So much power happens in the email automation. And that's where I truly believe a lot of people miss out on, on seeing an ROI on, on any type of Facebook advertising or any type of paid traffic at all is because there's no follow-up. You're not capturing the lead the right way. You're not taking it to a landing page. And even if you are, there's no email autoresponder staying in touch. Your email game is not there. Okay, so you it, it has to be. So look at the software. There's a 14-day trial, profit with Kartra.online. That link is below. Um, and that's when you'll start running conversions. But again, software like that, you only need it if you plan on running paid traffic, in my opinion. If you're not running paid traffic, you're not doing it. I mean, unless you have 300,000 people on your TikTok or unless you have 300,000 people following you on Instagram, then maybe you're doing it. Maybe you're doing it. You've been building a personal brand for 15 freaking years and now you have 300,000 followers on Instagram. Okay, I'll give it to you. But I'm willing to bet that 99% of you guys that are watching me right now, you don't have that. You're not even close. Like, cause I'm not even, I'm not even close. So, so you have to go pay traffic. You have to go pay traffic you have to drive it to a landing page. You have to capture that lead. That lead needs to be nurtured through some type of follow-up system. Normally, it's an email autoresponder. And, 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 and that's all there is to it, man. That's all there is to it. Starting at a small budget and scaling up. Not everyone has to start at a high, high, high you know, um, budget. Start small, but, but budget it out, man, and stay consistent. And if you need anything, reach out. Comment below. Schedule an appointment with me. Um, if you need to strategize, if you have some different plans and, and need to rub them off me, let me know, man. Let me know. I'm always up for a strategy call. Comment below, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Know these objectives and know what the outcome is going to be. All right, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Over and out.